This is a small one valve radio, the kind that young lads would have built as enth radio enthusiasts in the late 50s maybe, in my case around about 1960. It uses a RF pentode valve, it's a DF91, or the American equivalent of that is the 1T4. It runs from a 1.5 volt battery to light the filament, the very delicate filament, and approximately 36 volts is all that's required for high tension. Um, it uses a very good quality Ripanko coil that was available in the UK for from radio shacks, places like that. It's got a tuning capacitor, it's got a reaction capacitor that simply sharpens the valve up and makes it more sensitive and selective to radio signals. At the moment it's quite happily playing through these telephones, they're high impedance telephones. You have to use those because of the uh, impedance matching to the valve. Um, I can hear it, you probably won't on the camera, so I'm going to disconnect the telephones and connect the valve amplifier here so that you can hear exactly what's going on. So we'll do that now. Right, I think that's a program we have in the UK called UK Gold. You tune it in here, it's very critical tuning, and then you bring up the sensitivity with the reaction. It's a very good output. I'll find you another station. Exciting time, yeah. and um, I'm sure the excitement there is going to be tremendous. Right. And it the aerial is only a small aerial mounted inside the roof of the building, a single story building. It's only about three foot above me. Plenty of stations. Wigan, he could kick the ball, he could come, he looked like he was in so much pain. I'm surprised he's playing today, I don't know if he, how quickly he can recover or how fit he really he's is. He's got long wave as well, it's a rather well, crude right, switch it's there, I'll see if I can get you something on long wave. Radio 4 on long wave, BBC Radio 4 that is. And that is a simple radio that young lads built, school lads, as a grounding in a career in radio. Hope you enjoyed it. After you sir.